Hey, what's up, Dash Bam? I uh, want to thank everybody for all the new subscriptions. Things are great. Please comment and share. Like the videos. That really helps. Um, it kind of not blew up. I mean, you know, 150 or whatever is not blowing up. But uh, it's been kind of nice to see uh, more people, you know, coming on. Uh, you know, share my videos. Let other people see what's going on. I know there's not a, a massive amount of huge things going on. But I'm going to... It's going to become a little bit more like vlogs, um, doing a lot of my, now that my wife is getting a knee surgery, we'll be able to get out and do some more rock hounding and, um, I'm going to show a little bit of, uh, some silver collection here in a couple of days and, you know, do, do some of these other things that we've talked about now that things have cleared up a bit. Uh, we are going to go, uh, to Colorado in August and that will be to our gold claim. So we'll be able to, uh, do some work there, do some videos there, see what happens. But today I wanted to go over a couple things. Um, the first one is I wanted to hit on kind of the law of attraction. There's so many people that have asked about the law of attraction and all this time that I've been, you know, super happy and, and things haven't really bothered me. And um, we always seem to be the incurable optimist, right? And I, I like that. And I like people saying that to me and but I'm always smiling no matter how sick I am or no matter what's happening. Um, I'm glad that they see that. Um, but, you know, everybody has their own ideas, their own um, things that they've read about the law of attraction, whether it's the book The Secret, whether it's uh, their own beliefs, whether it's, um, you know, something they've learned from a mentor or something they've learned from somebody else. But I do have my own version of how the law of attraction works and you can call it whatever you want um, I call it the law of attraction just basically for the, the lack of a better phrase or lack of a better word um, but basically what you're doing is you're you're believing something into existence and, and what I mean is that there's people that believe in monks and and uh, people like that that literally have uh, believed or brought through the law of attraction um, an actual dollar bill made out of thin air, right? I, I don't know. If they did, they did. Man, fantastic on them. I, I can't possibly see myself doing that. But I think where it comes from, and, and kind of roll with me here for a minute, but I do believe that you can get whatever you want. Um, I don't believe that hard work will bring you everything. If that was the case, everybody would be extremely wealthy because there's some hard working sons of guns out there and they don't have jack to their name. So um, I don't really want to hear that from people. That they say, oh, you know, work your butt off the rest of your life and you'll be a success and you'll be a millionaire. Well, success is relative. Um, some people don't make a lot of money, but they have a phenomenal, phenomenal family and super wealthy family as far as love is concerned. And, and we have that and I, and I love that. And I feel that I'm very wealthy in that aspect. But when it comes to monetary means, when it comes to money, when it comes to things like that, um, it's, it's the love of those things that gets people in trouble, right? So we're not going that route. I'm just talking about how to attract those things that you want in your life. It can be love, it can be money, it can be people, it can be things, it can be situations, uh, prayers, it doesn't really matter what it is, right? Um, but it starts off with core beliefs, right? And if you haven't listened to Tony Robbins in the past, uh, I highly recommend that you do. He talks about core beliefs and why they're so uh, important. And the reason they're important is I personally believe that there's a God. I believe in Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. And I also believe in faith. And you go back into the Bible several times. It says, if you know, you have faith in me and, and ask for what you want, you shall receive. Um, I fully believe that. That's a core belief of mine. So I'm going to be talking more about the faith side of it. You guys can think of it however you want to think of it. Some people think of it as the universe or, you know, spirit. Whatever the case is, is totally fine. Um, it's, it's, that's your core belief. Um, but if your core belief is literally you can't bring things about in your life and that things are fated to happen, um, then you're just going about life with, you know, a big question mark. And whatever happens, happens. Um, and that's up to you. And, and those are people that say, well, I don't have any control of my life, which to me is complete horse crap. Um, I believe you have, you have a lot of control of your life. Now, if, if God wants you to come home and he's done with you here on earth, he's going to take you, right? You're going. But uh, for the most part, he wants us happy. He wants us to 
um, uh, to prosper on this earth. He wants us to do well. He's we're, we're his children, as I believe, and, and you have your own children like I do. You want them to prosper. You want them to be billionaires. You want them to be as happy as possible. You want them to have all the things that they want that they that will make them happy, health and, and family and everything. So your core belief is going to have a lot to do with how you feel. So keep that in mind as I tell you a little bit about how I think that the law of attraction, or at least thought energy, turns into actual... Um, uh, physical energy and physical things. So it starts with your thoughts, right? Um, they always tell you, be careful what you think because you're listening. And that's the dang truth. Your subconscious is connected to the world, to the spirit, to your Heavenly Father, to uh, everything. And we don't necessarily understand that our subconscious will pretty much do what we tell it. It's kind of like a computer. You, whatever you type in there is what it's going to do. So if you type something stupid, it's going to believe that's something stupid or do something stupid. So um, same way with your subconscious, and that's how we start. So you put thoughts in there of wanting something or needing something or being happy or whatever it is, okay? So let's say it's a million dollars. You want to make a million dollars this year, but you've never made more than 50 grand. Okay, fine. That doesn't matter. None of that really matters. It's all about what you believe. But at that point, you have to have the faith or the belief or put out enough energy and not question it. Doubt is actually questioning that energy, questioning that faith. So you can't have any doubt, right? Um, so when you have energy, you need to, or excuse me, when you have a thought, if you think of a big wheel, right? So it starts out with your thoughts and that thought will move over to feelings. You have to think about it so much and that you have kind of this laser beam focus on whatever it is that you want. And as you do that, for one, it raises your energy level, right? It raises your faith level. Um, I don't know if you've thought of something so much that you start going to bed and you're dreaming of it and you're, you're, all your thoughts every day are nothing about that. Hey, you're on the right track if that's the case because that means your subconscious is listening to your conscious mind saying, hey, that's all he talks about is getting this million dollars this year or getting this or that or or accomplishing whatever it is and that thought energy is going out into the world or going to your heavenly father your god your source whatever that might be um but the more feeling that you put towards that thought the more energy that goes into it and that's when things start to really happen um you're not going to be able to think your way into some some kind of an existence there has to be a lot of feeling behind it. There has to be a whole lot of something that you want, a whole lot of faith, and that feeling has to go right along with the thought process. So while you're obsessing with this thought and you are laser beam focused on this one idea, this thing that you want, whatever it is, you have to bring those feelings as if you already have it or the feelings of what it brings you or what it's going to bring you or how you think it's going to make you feel. Those thoughts have to start being associated with those the feelings have to be started associated with those thoughts and as they do you kind of move around that big circle right to get back to what you want so now you kind of moved in from thought to thought feeling and from there some some small things start happening you you start doing the small things in life that lead you towards getting that um, because your subconscious is going to start moving you into doing the proper actions to bring about that thing that you want now, whether it starts, now whether you start learning about uh, uh, a certain aspect of work or life or a new business, whatever it is, but slowly but surely you start doing those positive things that are leading you towards the things that you want. Then you start to realize, like, hey, I'm I'm already moving towards that. I'm already doing and making decisions that are getting me there. Then you make a conscious effort to say, you know what? All right, everything I have is going towards that. Everything I'm doing is going towards that. Then you start having a whole lot of action with that feeling and those thoughts. And they just become more and more and more. And once they do, guys, I'm telling you right now, that's when what people think are miracles, but they're not. Think of it as uh, uh, you will receive that as soon as you start doing that. But think of it as um, an Amazon store, right? You have this virtual store online, but let's call it a heavenly store. 
when you go to Amazon or this heavenly Amazon store and you find something that you want, um, a new job, um, a lover, a partner, um, money, business, a car, truck, whatever it may be, and you click on it and it goes into your cart, right? So whatever that is, you've clicked on it and it goes into your cart. Now you've logged in and you've logged into this heavenly business of yours, right? This heavenly, uh, cart, right? Or this Amazon cart and whatever you've put in there, it stays there until you've done something to bring it out and bring it to existence. Does that make sense? So with Amazon, obviously you have to put a credit card in and you got to buy that sucker and get it shipped to you. And then you got it in hand. But when it comes to your heavenly cart, when it comes to those things, they will literally sit in that cart until you are ready. You already have what you're asking for. You already have, it's already been given to you. You have to be willing now to bring it to yourself. You have to be willing to bring it into existence. And whether that is what you believe in is karma and uh, bringing it into existence by uh, believing it enough and thinking about it enough and doing action to get there, or whether it's prayer and faith and tons of action and tons of laser beam focus, if it's uh, God that you believe in. So that's where your core belief is really going to make a huge difference when it comes to this. Um, but at that point, everything's going to stay in that cart. It's going to stay in there until you make the proper actions, the proper transaction to be able to bring that to life and to bring it to you. So it comes down to this. You have to make the proper transaction. You have to make uh, the proper moves in your heavenly basket or in your universe basket, whatever it is, to bring that out of the cart and bring it to you. Um, in my case, with what I believe in my core values, I ask for a million dollars. I ask for wealth. I ask for whatever it may be. I know in my head, I've put it in that basket. It's there. I've got a million things sitting in that basket. I just have to now go through the steps to get that out. People that say you work as hard as you can your whole life and you'll get everything you want. Well, that's, like I said, that's horse crap. I know a lot of people that are massively hard workers and they have nothing to their name. Um, it's about understanding how the world works. It's about working hard. Of course, you want to work hard. You have to have a good work, work ethic. Things are not just going to come to you because you thought of it. Uh, there's still going to be a lot of action, but you want that action to be laser beam focused well, along with those feelings and those thoughts to get it. So the message to you today is basically take, take those necessary steps to get that out of your basket, get that out of your cart. You have a lot of things that you put in that cart, a lot of things that you're asking for, a lot of things that you want. Well, you're the only one that can get them out of that cart. And by doing that, you have to have a lot of faith. You have to put a lot of energy to it. You have to have a lot of action to it, but proper action, not a bunch of busy action. It has to be specific to what that is that you want. And you absolutely will get everything that you want. You already have it. It's already been given. You already ordered it and put it in your cart. You are the one that's going to be responsible of taking it out. So go after it. Go with what you need. Go get everything in that cart. Get the abundance that is out there. There is everything in this world is available for everybody. And don't ever think anything different. Um, it's there. All you have to do is go get it. Um, make the right choices to get it. Make the right thoughts, the right feelings. And definitely take the right actions to be laser beam focused. And you people will get exactly what you want. Um, hey, we love you. Hope everything's going well. Shaka out, man.